Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're here checking out the Babysitting Gigs mod by AD Bendigo. I've been waiting for this one for quite a while now because I am always looking for more jobs and things that my sims can do, but I'm not going to tell you too much about the mod. I'm just going to read off the mod notes if you're interested in learning a little more about it. Otherwise, I'm going to do a little timestamp thingy jigger in the bottom of the video so that if you want, you can skip straight to the gameplay. This is a mod that adds babysitting odd jobs or gigs to the game. This is only available as a teen job and as a part-time job for university students who are a teen or young adult. Gigs are available mostly at night, though a few are available during the day. They range in level of skills needed in the complexity of number and age of children. All gigs are matched to families from the game that meet the parameters of the specific gig, and those families may be played or unplayed depending on the gig. How it works. Your sim can pick up the phone and access the Babysitter's Club gig listings. Your sim has the choice to either select a normal gig and go to a rabbit hole to perform the job or can choose an active gig and go to the law of a family and game. In the listings, there will be gigs available based on the babysitter's rating level. Babysitting skill can be earned through gigs and the parenting skill also affects the babysitting skill. After accepting a job babysitting, when it's time for the gig to begin, the babysitter will need to go to the infant, toddler, and or children's location. Note that the active gigs begin immediately, or the babysitter can go to a rabbit hole like a normal odd job depending on what they've chosen. They will be responsible for caring for those little ones until the gig is over. Rabbit hole gigs last anywhere from two to five hours and they function the same as normal rabbit hole slash odd job careers. And then for active gigs, to start the active gig, once you arrive at the family's home, you must knock on the door. For all but two gigs, the other teens and adults on the lot will immediately leave. In the family helper and twice the work gigs, they will stay but your sim can choose to make them leave the lot by clicking on the target sim and choosing to send the babysitter family member away. Active gigs last at most four hours long, but they can be as short as you want depending on how quickly your sim gets through their tasks. There are eight to nine objectives for each active gig, but a sim only needs to complete six. Sometimes gigs are only available depending on the makeup of the sims in your world. So if you don't have babies or infants, for example, some gigs which require a baby or infant will not be available so I suggest a range of ages. Tasks are available in the career panel and show up below. Not to break away from my narrator voice, but there's a frog outside my window. The poor thing sounds like he's struggling, so if you hear me chuckle, none of this is funny. Actually, it's just the damn frog outside my window. But anyways, performance. How well they do depends on their relationship with the ones in their care, their parenting, and their babysitting skills, and the duties and responsibilities they complete while on the job. More successful gigs will improve the babysitting skills thereby improving career performance, allowing sims to rank up. Sims have the ability to rank up in the Babysitter's Club agency to achieve better paying and more varied gigs. Sims start out with a zero star rating and can go up to a five star rating. Requirements, island living for the odd jobs menu and compatibility and conflicts. Parenthood is not required, but highly recommended. To get started with the gig, it's pretty yeah, self-explanatory. Yeah. All you need to have your sim do is just go on their phone, then you're gonna hit the business icon and there you will find the babysitting gig tab and it's going to bring up this menu here where you're going to have the option of either partaking in an active babysitting gig or you could just go through the rabbit hole version instead which is going to act kind of like an odd job. If you're not seeing this menu on your sims phone chances are they're probably not a teen or a young adult that's enrolled in university. I think first we're going to check out the rabbit hole gigs looking to make a few extra simoleons on the side want to do work on your time the babysitters club agency gigs offer the opportunity to choose your own schedule and spend time taking care of a adorable local children. Sign up for a babysitting gig today. At the moment, I only have a measly two job offers, but I envision as you kind of level up through the babysitting career and you get better ratings, more offers will come in. The first gig is called Family Helper and it begins ASAP. The pay is $12 an hour. Kirsten says, there just always seems to be something going on in our household and it would be great to just have a little bit of help and some grace. What we need is a family helper. Sound good? The second option is called Youthful Memories and it also begins ASAP with a pay of $12 an hour. Javier says, a few of my friends from high school and college are going to be in town and we want to get together to reminisce. I need someone to sit for me for a few hours. Is that you? The real question is, is who do we help out here? Do we help Javier go have a couple drinks with the buddies and reminisce with his friends from college and high school? Or do we help out the stressed mama who just needs some damn grace? I think I'm going to go with the family helper option since the pay is the same. What it really boils down to is Kirsten's just pulling at my heartstrings. After you have your sim select a gig, it's going to be under 
underneath the little career panel and it's just going to say babysitter's club agency and then next to that it's going to have your reading so here is our odd job family helper and it starts at 1 p.m on tuesday which is literally five minutes from now brenda's off to her very first gig and how well she does i think is dependent on her babysitting skill level and also her parenting skill which i think is another thing that's been introduced by this mod but basically she walks off the lot as she would in true rabbit hole tradition and she'll be there for about i think five don't know four to five hours she's already back and she reached level one of the parenting skill unfortunately for miss brenda she kind of sucks at babysitting so she failed the term babysitting was clearly taken loosely but the family still had to pay brenda anyway and brenda only earned 10 freaking simoleons for four to five hours of her time that is atrocious but i'm thinking i'm thinking i might want to have her go and try another one of those odd jobs again we're going to do the rabbit hole one um just because i want to see like how her rating has improved or in this case i mean you really can't go any lower than zero but she does have one star and now that we have one star we have a few more gigs that are available so we have like easy peasy and then we have nocturnal learning um i think we're gonna go with let me see let me see wait 33 dollars an hour 25 we're gonna go with easy peasy so nadia says oh don't worry this will be the easiest babysitting money you'll ever earn i promise mm -hmm. my two middle schoolers are practically all self-sufficient they just can't be home alone you'll barely even have to lift a finger so what do you say i say for 33 simoleons an hour i am absolutely on the job and this one will start exactly at seven which gives us a few minutes to digest our cereal and put our bowl away and then we'll head on over and y'all pretty much know what happens from here it's 10 o'clock now and brenda just got back earning a whopping a whopping 20 simoleons y'all i swear these gigs are not freaking easy at all i'm hoping that once her parenting skill increases and her ratings also improve so will her pay it's the next day and brenda just got home from high school and the poor girl is experiencing a hormonal breakout and probably doesn't feel like being anywhere that she can be seen but i want to try out one of those active gigs i was kind of curious if the ratings from the rabbit hole gigs carried over to the active ones as well and it looks like it does we still have a one star rating but thankfully we have a couple more choices and it looks like the pay is better as well so we have family helper we have the nocturnal learning then we also have the youthful memory so a little variation of everything that we've seen thus far i think we're gonna go with the nocturnal learning since it is the one that seems to pay the most lucas says back when we both were working day shifts my astronomy seminar seemed like a good idea but now that my partner is working the night shift i'm in a bit of a pickle and don't really want to quit my class i just need someone for a few hours once your sim arrives on the job the very first thing they need to do is knock on the door so that they can be let in and you'll get this notification that says hi my name is brenda i'm the babysitter from the babysitters club agency i'm here to help you guys i don't know if i've been living under a rock or what but i have never seen this couch until today what pack did it come with i'm speculating probably the sims 4 growing together because it kind of looks like it would come from that pack maybe it's one of those unlockable items and that's why i haven't seen it i don't know but what i do know is is we don't have a lot of time here we need to complete this job by 9 p.m today which doesn't give us a lot of time and the tasks that we need to complete are to socialize with the children we also need to care for the children and we need to uh do play and learning activities and tidy up but the question i have is where the hell are the children because they're not outside they're not downstairs and they're not upstairs maybe they're in the basement which is kind of creepy but again i'm not seeing any kids so maybe i'm doing something wrong not quite sure like who i should be looking for here this is the first time this has happened to me because i have done a few of these active jobs and every single time the kids have actually been on the lot so i'm not really sure what to do in this particular moment should i cancel it should we take up another job like what do i do here the only thing that i can do is with the ui cheats is just manually check off these tasks so at least i can end the current gig and still get paid i did reach level two with the parenting skill but i'm probably gonna have brenda go back home and we're gonna have to try this again we're now at three stars which gives us even more opportunities such as date night which pays 250 simoleons it is kirsten again she says we're really hoping to spend some quality time together and we connect and need someone responsible who can give us peace of mind we're hoping that someone is you and we're hoping <laughs> that your kids are actually home because that was really freaking bizarre i had somebody in one of my videos where i was kind of experiencing like a little bug um within a mod that i was reviewing ask me why i would even 
post a video about a broken mod, I think it goes without saying that just because something has a bug in it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's broken. These are mods after all. Uh, they're not, you know, official EA or, you know, Sims content. So surely there's going to be kinks to be worked out, especially with these mods that are still in early access. So even if I do have a bug or a hiccup, I'm still going to post the review on the mod so that I can help the modders maybe work out the kinks or I can help you decide if you want to pledge to the early access or maybe wait a little longer and tell everything's been sorted. Hopefully this time I'll be able to complete all of the tasks organically. We got the same notification and uh, we're going to start by helping out this little guy. I'm going to go and uh, let me see. I don't know what to do. I'm like kind of like I feel like I'm being put on the spot. We're going to do some activities and we're going to play. I don't know if you just saw uh, but the adults just disappeared and it says nice to meet you. Be back soon. Have fun and keep safe. Right now Brenda's playing with Toddy and while she's doing it she's earning some parenting skill. I don't know if she's actually earning any babysitting skill but I have seen it and basically it looks like a little telephone with I think like a rattle or something hang on a quick second I'm so freaking confused why are we going home oh my gosh we were supposed to complete that task by seven but we only showed up at six that only gave us an hour there's no way we would have been able to babysit all those children and complete all those tasks in an hour I don't know if that's a bug or another kink that has to be worked out. I guess we're going to have to try this again. Hopefully third time's a charm. Fortunately, that little mishap didn't set us back and we're now at four stars. So word of advice when you are, you know, contemplating on choosing a gig, pay close attention to the time that it is in game and the time that you have to complete the task slash the gig itself. So for instance here, we have a date night that's needed by Wednesday at 9 p.m. That would only give us like an hour and a half to complete the task. Whereas here we have homework helper and we have until 12 a.m., which gives us a lot more time. So I'm not really sure if that's like a bug. Moving forward, I know that I'm definitely gonna pay closer attention um, to the times that these things cap out at, I guess. So let's go with homework helper. We'll get 175 simoleons and Edna says what can I say I'm a busy professional as much as I'd love to have time to look over my child's schoolwork there just aren't enough hours in the day do you think I could help out well I think I could definitely help you there but why are you waiting until 12 a.m. to help your children or hire someone to help your children with the homework also side note dot 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 earlier if I was very quiet in the video that's because my baby was sleeping and uh, Mr. Isaac woke up from a 10 hour nap I guess well not really a nap but a sleep and now he's right next to me so you might hear like little baby grunts and coos and what have you you just kind of hanging out with mom it's like <laughs> It's like take your child to work day. I love it. Okay, so we're actually at an apartment this time and I don't want to waste any time. I have to figure out what unit uh, this family is in. I'm assuming it's this one since there literally are only two doors. So we're going to knock really quick and hopefully I'll be able to show you guys everything that is needed to show. So Edna just left and now we need to socialize with the children. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to hug the child. I'm also going to uh, maybe discuss interests a little bit. What are some things? What are some things? I did notice that when I complete these tasks, it like checks off things in my uh, family oriented or successful lineage aspiration. It's kind of weird. Um, tidying up is another one that's kind of strange too. Sometimes there will be things left out for you to tidy up sometimes not but apparently somebody got started on what appears to be scrambled eggs and decided to just leave it here next to the bathtub I, I really <laughs> I really have no clue um so some of the things that you can do is you can socialize with the children I've already gone over these but it says everyone loves having someone to talk to and children are no different chatting and socializing helps build their verbal their verbal skills and vocabulary the second one is care for children children of all ages depend on others to make sure their needs are attended to so that that they are nurtured depending on the age of the child changing clothes and diapers helping with the toilet and giving baths putting down to bed reading to sleep and of course making sure they are fed are all that is needed play and learning activities learning is an integral part of growing up and playing is critical in helping children learn and grow all children from babies to infants can be taught something new and valuable every day just through fun activities like reading to them playing pretend building sandcastles monitoring them in a new skill playing dolls, watching TV together, and so much more. Tidy up, clean counters, wash dishes, vacuum, collect trash and dirty dishes, empty the laundry and pick up and put away books, toys, and other items around the lot for a bit of light housekeeping. So basically, those are how you would complete those tasks. Probably should have read those to you earlier, but I didn't do that. So I think 
Um, right now, a couple other things that I could do. Parenting influence to influence to do homework. I don't know if this one's going to help. Um, tidying just got checked off. I'm assuming this would help, but it might not. Maybe if I come over here and I mentor the schoolwork or like help her with it that actually might c constitute as play and learning activities at least to me it would i think it did i think it actually got checked off i'm not sure so i'm gonna stop that i'm gonna do it again because obviously i have to cheat here because i don't think i'm gonna be able to have another opportunity to help her uh so let me just do that one more time yep cool awesome so care for children i would assume maybe putting uh what is her name uh, her name's sage <laughs> i would assume putting sage to bed would actually help um with caring for children so i'm gonna go and do that and it looks like we're on a roll like i'm very proud of myself right now because this one went so much more like fluid than all the other attempts so at the last gig we ended up earning 245 simoleons i would consider it a success because we actually completed all the tasks this time and i did take a peek underneath the little skill panel and here is the brand new skill babysitting it says the best babysitters have some level of skill and expertise where a level two and their parenting skill is almost at a level three i kind of want to do one more active babysitting gig with you guys oh you should give a buzz um before i end this video but i gotta wait until tomorrow something else i almost forgot to mention is that you will indeed build relationships with the sims that you babysit for if it is an active career the rabbit hole ones you won't build any type of relationship with those sims but that doesn't necessarily bother me so it is the next day obviously and i'm thinking brian Brenda needs to go and do another gig. Let's go and see what is available. I'm curious to see if we have five stars yet. That would seem a little quick, but I mean, Brenda, you know, she's definitely a fast learner. So maybe, nope. Okay, we're still at four stars. We have last minute pitch. We have family helper. We've seen that one. A night off, uh, family decisions, attendance mandatory. Again, just paying attention to the times. I think that is key here. So family decisions, Edna again. Unfortunately, a good friend of mine is in the hospital and isn't doing too well. My partner works late and isn't able to get home any earlier, but this time is the only time I have to visit as I work during the day. I just need someone at home until my partner gets back and takes over. Since we just watched or babysit for Edna. I think I'm gonna let that one slide. What about last minute pitch? I'm really in a bind. I was hoping you could help me out. Our usual babysitter had to cancel last minute and we have a non-refundable concert tickets for tonight. Anyway, would you help us out in a pinch? Did I say pitch earlier? Oh no, it does say pitch. Last minute pitch? last minute pinch. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go and help this sim out. We have until nine to complete the babysitting gig, which is perfect. And we're going to end up earning 375 simoleons. That does seem quite excessive for a teenage sim. I mean, that is a lot of damn money. I know when I used to babysit when I was 13, I wasn't getting no $375. I'd be lucky to get like 20, but you know, it is the sims after all. And uh, sometimes things aren't that realistic, I guess. I don't know if that bothers you, but just something I wanted to add. Okay. So I think we might be at another apartment. I forget where this person lives. We are at the Jang household and it can only be one of two doors. So I think it's this unit over here. We're going to go inside. Cool. Awesome. All right. So the parents are leaving. These are our tasks. They're going to always look the same kind of. And who's crying? I decided against helping out the Jang household just for the simple fact that it was another child again. And you already saw me take care of a child. And I thought it'd be much more fun to play with a toddler so that you could kind of see the difference different ways that you'll be caring for different aged sims. Unfortunately, the family just left Bridget outside here on the sidewalk. So we're going to come out and grab her really quick. I hope we have enough time. I need to socialize with her. So I'm going to let me see. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and I'm going to go and do a little activity. We're going to play with her and then let me see um, care for her. We can give her a bath that will definitely help and then tidy up. So this one's a super easy, super easy job. So I'm going to go and get her in to the bath hopefully there's a bathtub i see a shower downstairs let me see this is a really big house so there's gotta there's gotta be something here's a 
really, really nice tub. We're gonna get a little bubble bath started for Bridget and that should absolutely check off the Care for Children task. And then the only other thing that we'll have to do is just tidy up around the house. And there we go. So caring for children is easily accomplished by giving the toddler a bath. And now autonomously, Brenda's heading downstairs to clean up. This is something I have noticed while doing these little babysitting gigs is that the Sims will autonomously clean up things. There's nothing there, literally nothing there. But I think it's just the mod triggering her to do that, even though I didn't check off the task. That's kind of weird. So the only other thing that I'm thinking that could kind of work a little bit is maybe if you grabbed a quick meal and say you grab some cold cuts. I mean, six dollars is just way out of her budget. So we're just going to grab some free cold cuts. I'm going to put the plate down. I'm going to be super wasteful right now, actually. I just got the notification that our gig will be due in an hour, but I'm going to try to see if this little cheat will work. All right. So if you ever in a pickle, grab some cold cuts and then have your sim either eat them or throw them in the trash and then clean up the plate that will complete the task. So we're done now. We ended up getting whatever we were promised, like 245 simoleons or what have you. And if you're wondering why Brenda was back at a zero for her rating, that is because I had accidentally killed her earlier and I had to start over. I killed her by her freezing to death. That's very unfortunate, but that's what you get for trying to cheat the game. Despite some of the minor hiccups that we had when we were testing out this mod, overall, I really did enjoy it. I think the active careers or active gigs rather are a lot of fun to play with and I can't wait to actually experience more different ages in terms of like the Sims that I babysit. If you're interested in checking out this mod, I will go ahead and provide a link down in the description. And with that said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video here. I hope that you all enjoyed and if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. For the sun, it does not shine and I will see you all next time. Bye guys.